Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. Hey, so what I wanna uh, what I wanna get into is uh, I wanna tell people that no one is smarter than you. Okay, no one's smarter than you. Now, don't get it confused. It doesn't mean that someone's not more experienced at certain things than you or has been through more than you, but no one's smarter than you. See, to me, smarter means like it's it's really someone that is just just a, a genius, just knows everything. A smart person to me just knows everything. And most of the time we feel that a person who's just more, a little bit more experienced than you in a certain topic is a genius and smart and smarter than you. And really they're not smarter than you you know uh, that's what keeps people back is the fact of believing that we have individuals who are smarter than us well really the richest people in the world are probably the most dumbest they are just smart enough to be able to say I'm not working for anybody else most individuals who are very talented artistic are not really smart a lot of the times we think that individuals who are on TV our intelligence we we uh, take associate being fame famous with intelligence and it's not really intelligence it's just they just want to do it and if you really think about it a lot of those individuals have contract deals that are jacking them up so are they really that smart or are they just very artistic and was just smart enough to understand that I don't want to be in a position where I'm struggling so it doesn't have to be anything about smart because there also is a lot of smart people right now that are sitting in the situation that I'm sitting in or sitting in a situation that that is they could be a bum you know what I'm saying but it doesn't mean they're stupid it doesn't mean they're dumb actually I've heard of a doctor he was a doctor you know he, he, a, a doctor over 20 years he just decided to give up everything and just be homeless because he felt that was a better situation than all the stress he was doing as being a doctor and we would consider him to be smart but now look at him he's outside as a uh, you know panhandling I mean it's very interesting man it's, it's a very interesting situation but I want to tell people no one is smarter than you don't think somebody is smarter than you because even the smartest have been outwitted by the dumbest okay and that's the truth so when you hear somebody say, when you when you look at an individual, look at the individual situation and look at what the individual is talking about first before you consider them to be smart, okay? Before you consider them to be more intelligent than you. You're just as intelligent. Nobody was born here smarter than the next individual. Maybe they grasp some things a little faster, but not smarter than anybody else. So, I mean, especially especially if we look at the education system, a lot of the individuals who are the successors of today was terrible in school. Bad grades, getting in trouble, everything, you name it. Principal's office, <laughs> they made principals list by just being in the principal's office. <laughs> so, when you look at the situation, I want to tell you, don't let somebody else tell you that they're smarter than you and don't let other individuals influence that belief on you that someone else is smarter than you no one else is smarter than you I had to realize that myself I had to realize that I'm as just as smart as every other individual I'm just as talented I am just as witty I'm just as great as any other individual and when we're in this life we're just as great as any other individual it just takes us time to find our greatness you know, or our so-called smartness. So, I mean, that's what I really want to say is don't let anybody influence you to, to, to think that they're smarter than you because there's a lot of people that are, are street smart, but they're not book smart. And then you have people who are uh, book smart who's not street smart. So, you know, it just varies in the situation. And, you know, both of them could complement each other if they're both smart, uh, uh, intelligent, or have some experience in both fields. Like I said, don't take smartness for um, saying that they're more experienced than you are. No, smart and more experienced. They may, like I said, they may have been studying that situation and they know more about that certain topic 
that certain topic they may know a whole bunch about, which they might be intelligent in that topic, but it doesn't mean that they're necessarily smart in every other topic or intelligent, have uh, knowledge in every other topic. There's a lot of smart people right now who don't know anything about the hood. And there's a lot of street smart people right now who can tell you how to flip it, sip it, dip it, flip it, and tell you how to turn that thing, make that motherfucker wet. <laughs> But they can't tell you anything about anything about a book. They can't tell you about chemistry. They can't tell you about biology. They, you know, they can't read. So, I mean, think about it that way. So the next time somebody tells you that they're smarter, or somebody inf tries to influence a belief about another individual, just look at the situation that they're intelligent about. Because most of the people that are smart will tell you, I'm not that smart. <laughs> They'll tell you I just know my stuff when it comes to this certain situation. So that's all I want to say today. Just start off, um, you know, uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. Uh, that's Open T H O T S dot com. Uh, also on Blogspot, Blogger. Um, I'm always sending blogs. Also on OpenThoughts.com, I made this new page called Health for Wealth, and it's just some links to help you if you're trying to get started trying to lose some weight most likely a lot of this stuff is losing weight and also some natural remedies to deal with certain ailments that you're going through in your body joint pain uh, swollen feet I know a lot of black women have that swollen feet pregnant women have that swollen feet so there's different ways to do that and handle that situation so I just wanted to open that up and give people opportunity. I've been studying and grabbing a lot of stuff for research when it comes to certain situations when it comes to health um, but you know, go on openthoughts.com. You know, follow me on Facebook. I have all the uh, links and descriptions in the below box. So you know, I thank you, and you have a good one.